All right, and welcome back. In this video, we are going to be going through Chapter 6, Section 1, titled Inequalities. By the end of this video, we should be able to apply properties of inequality to positive numbers. So let's have out our guide and notes. Let's begin. So we have a couple of different properties of inequality that we need to go through. And there is a typo in this one, so please note this typo as I do as well. Before we actually talk about it, let's just make this typo different. It says currently it's plus one. We need to change that to be plus two. That has to be plus two. So it's going to be plus two. So if x is greater than seven, then x plus two is greater than seven plus two. That's our algebraic approach. And over on the right is a geometric approach. If AB, the length of AB is less than the length of CD, then the length of AB plus two should still be less than the length of CD plus two. If x is less than 7, then x divided by 2 is less than 7 divided by 2, and 2x is less than 14. That's our algebraic approach. Over on the right is our geometric approach. If the measure of angle A is greater than 60, then half the measure of angle A is greater than 30, and twice the measure of angle A is greater than 120. If x is greater than y, and y is greater than 7, then x has to be greater than 7. In our geometric approach, if the length of AB is less than the length of CD, and the length of CD is less than the length of EF, then AB has to be less than the length of EF. On the left-hand side, if x is equal to y plus 2, then x is greater than y, and x is greater than 2. And over on the right-hand side, we do have a couple of geometric approaches to this as well. If the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2, then we have to know the measure of angle A is greater than the measure of angle 1, and the measure of angle A is greater than the measure of angle 2. And we are going to come back to this property after you work on problems 1 through 6 on the guided notes. Please work on those and resume when you're ready to move forward. So going back to the property that we spoke of before. If x is equal to y plus 2, then x is greater than y, and x is greater than 2. If the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2, then we have to know the measure of angle A is greater than the measure of angle 1, and the measure of angle A is greater than the measure of angle 2. This also has a special name. When you use any of the properties above or shown from before, you can write a property of inequality. But for this one, it does have a special title. The last property, again, shown above, is sometimes phrased as the whole is greater than its parts. And if we look at our algebraic approach, if x is equal to y plus 2, then it should make sense that x is bigger than y and x is also bigger than 2 because the whole is bigger or greater than its parts. And here are going to be two examples and a theorem that use the property given. So on the left-hand side, we have segment AC. And if we know that AB plus BC gives us AC, then we're going to know that AB is less than AC and BC is less than AC. Again, a part is less than its whole or a whole is greater than its part. Over on the right-hand side involving angles, the measure of angle AOC is equal to the measure of angle AOB plus the measure of angle BOC. Then we're going to be able to say that the measure of angle AOC is greater than the measure of angle AOB. The whole is bigger than its parts. And also we're going to be able to say that the measure of angle AOC is greater than the measure of angle BOC. Again, the whole is greater than its parts. That leads us into this theorem here, the exterior angle inequality theorem. What it says is that the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of either remote interior angles. Let's think back to what we know about the exterior angles of a triangle. They are equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. So if we know that an exterior angle is equal to the sum of our remote interior angles, then we're going to have to know and we can conclude that the exterior angle is greater than each individual remote interior angle. So if we know that triangle RST has an exterior angle 1 at point T, then we're going to be able to say that the measure of angle 1 is greater than the measure of angle R, and the measure of angle 1 is greater than the measure of angle S. 
And let's go through an example of how we're going to actually see this getting applied. So some information about the diagram is given. Tell whether the other statements can be deduced from what is given. We're given that we have a triangle WXY with an exterior angle 1. We're given that the length of XW is equal to the length of YW. We're also given that Z is the midpoint of segment XW. And we want to say whether or not these six statements can be deduced. Can we say that the measure of angle X is equal to the measure of angle XYW? Can we say the measure of angle 1 is greater than the measure of angle W? Can we say the measure of angle W is less than the measure of angle X? Can we say the length of XW is greater than the length of ZW? Can we say the length of XY is less than the length of XW? And finally, can we say twice the length of XZ is equal to the length of XW? Well, here are our six solutions here. For A, yes, we are able to say that those two angles are equal because we have an isosceles triangle. For B, we can say yes because our exterior angle has to be greater than one of the remote interior angles. C, we cannot deduce anything there. We do not have enough information. We don't have specifically the angle values. For D, yes, we can say that the length of XW is greater than the length of ZW because, again, a whole is greater than its parts. For E, we are not able to say that. Again, we don't have enough information, not enough specific information. And yes, we can say that double XZ should give us XW because we know Z is the midpoint. So if we double the midpoint, that's going to give us our whole segment. With this in mind, please work on problems 6 through 12 on the guide and notes. Keep making yourself proud. Please let us know if you have any questions, and we'll talk to you soon.